Hi everybody, today I want to share a quick tip I just recently discovered for myself. Some of you probably might know this already, um, but maybe some of you don't. So what I found out is how I can use absolutely every asset um, in an asset library or from another add-on within the True Terrain system namely the scattering system, which I personally still think is the best around. Um, and that's very easy to do. So what we're going to do, I've prepared um, standard uh, True Terrain landscape with True Sky um, and True Sky Clouds. So we can actually get rid of the clouds right now. Um, make this a little bit quicker. We can actually go to new portraying anyhow. So what we're going to do is um, go to our asset settings and go to our true terrain trees and keep the setting at low, which is sort of the alpha tree version of true terrain trees. And you can pick whatever you want. I, I'm just sticking with the ash trays and uh, ash trees and yeah, just do your initial scatter. So process as usual you go into your modifiers i usually go first with the camera cull and then give it a padding of two or three then i'm using a slope mask and that is usually 0.3 as well let's go with 0.4 and i don't want any trees in the water so let's go with a height mask as well so bring this up like so and the height the minimum height so we got no trees in the water so that's fine so we've got our initial scatter system set up now um, what we're going to do now is we're bringing in some other trees or some other assets so I'm going with forestation which I just recently bought and for this kind of perspective I think low poly will suffice so let's go with I don't know um, the American beach here at the tree at the other one as well and yeah why not take the ash as well so what we're going to do or what is important is we have our three assets in here now and we're going to move them into a new collection we call it m tree for my tree that's the the name of the collection and we can then bring those down now again let's head back over to true terrain remember these are our cut out true terrain trees and now i'm heading over to the geometry node editor and here where it says collection ash trees i'm just clicking on it and taking m trees and there they are that's it and you can do everything you are used to working within the true terrain system so we can go back in here we can now distance zero we can increase the density carefully to something like four and we're going to increase the scale a little bit so something like one and this 105 with a randomization that is fine and the rotation I usually go with a normal amount of 0.25 and that's it I mean you can just bring any asset you just have to make a new collection out of it and then choose the collection within the true scatter geometry node editor which is just a click it's 
that easy. Let's see if this has worked out. Even the low poly version of forestation is pretty pretty heavy but it still works and it doesn't look half bad and of course you can so let's just go back to viewport shading and you can use it as any other true terrain scatter system so what you can do is just duplicate that and pick anything else like the spruce trees it doesn't matter just change the distribution and you can see the new system and then you can do the exact same thing over here instead of the spruce you could for example take buildings and where did they come from well i prepared them beforehand <laughs> and you have your own woody village something like that so let's give this a render and see if this works out but you can you know you could definitely um, make this much nicer and better but this is more about showing you that you can actually use every asset and make it part of the true terrain system without the need to convert them to actual true terrain assets so while this renders I'm saying bye hope some of you might find this useful and integrate it into your workflow and see you next time. Thanks.